a story that makes your blood run cold. Who and why took the life of a pregnant woman? The ghost of a little girl will tell the truth. Welcome to the channel of true investigations undertaken by people who call themselves psychics. Using their superpowers, they see the past and the future and take up shocking criminal cases and mysterious secrets that will send cold shivers down your spine. This story is about a supernatural force that has been haunting an ordinary family from Ukraine's Dnipropetrovsk Oblast. It all began after funeral wreaths mysteriously appeared at their home's gate. The gate opens, and Vitaly, my brother, comes into the yard running with scared eyes. Why are the wreaths at the gate? He asked. It was a shock. There was a round wreath over here with flowers and a black ribbon, and a basket of flowers. It was next to it. It was horrible because you don't find such things at your gate every day. Ola asked her neighbors, but nobody had seen who had brought the wreaths or when it happened. The woman didn't know what to think since the family had no enemies and they'd never even quarreled with anybody. My husband burned the wreaths. He grabbed them with a pitchfork and took them to the fire. Ever since, the family's life has turned upside down. I never believed in all those mysteries, but what began after that, it's, this is horrific. Doors began opening themselves in the house, and a window pane cracked and broke itself. And at night, there's a scary moan coming from the backyard that makes the blood run cold. But what's worst of all, is that the family members feel they're being watched constantly. I had this eerie feeling in the backyard, as if someone were watching me. And the dog, howling every night. There's this howling. When I woke up, I heard footsteps, like someone was walking around the house. My husband works at the plant bakery, and he delivers bread at night. He's not home at night. When my daughter falls asleep, she then wakes up, calling me and asking if I heard someone walk in the house. A tragedy almost happened one night. When the mother entered her daughter's room to kiss her goodnight, the heavy chandelier fell from the ceiling and crashed next to the girl's bed. It was so close that it could have killed Natalia. The next morning, the mother couldn't wake her daughter. She slept for 24 hours without waking up. I poured cold water on her and slapped her on the cheeks to wake her up, but she didn't react. When I took her hand, it was cold. Her temperature was 35.5. The doctors hardly brought the girl back to her senses. The checkup revealed that she had absolutely no health issues. Therefore, the medics assumed she'd been in a pre-coma condition as a result of the shock she'd endured the other day. Desperate, the mother called the psychics. I really want them to come and help us. I'm not afraid of death, but I'm afraid of losing my children. My children are everything to me. Our project's regular experts and the best psychics in the Ukraine nation, Jana Shulakova and Rubina Tsibulska, agreed to help the family. Last night, I was preparing for the meeting with Olha when I saw my late mother in a dream. I don't know why, but she was with a girl of about 10. I saw a scar on her neck. Could that girl be somehow connected to Olha? Uh, I don't know. I'd never seen her before. What if one of the wreaths was from that girl's tomb? Could it be that this is how her spirit was bound to Olha's house? That girl was strange. Cold emanated from her like she was dead. But she looked alive. My mom said, you must help her. But I don't know how I could do it. Mad love that led to a murder is to blame. The mirror shows me a hole in the ground, although it's not a grave, and there's a woman in it. She's young and beautiful, like her feet are tied up. She holds her hands like this in fear. She's wearing a blue necklace. 
I see some woman take this necklace off her own. No way. This is Ola who's doing it. Are you sure it's Olha? And who is this woman with the necklace? I don't know. The image has vanished. The cards say the young woman is dead. She was pregnant and she was buried alive. Dear Lord. After a while, the psychics are on site in the village where the woman lives. I beg you to help me. Please help. Some new wreaths appeared here after that. I love my children. Please help me. Please. Olha, we will do everything we can. Funeral wreaths look like a jinx a lot. Tell me, please, who could benefit from doing it? It's quite possible the person who did it bound a spirit that's haunting you to your house. Can we work in the backyard? Of course. Come in, please. All of a sudden, I heard a child's voice calling out quietly, Mom. But at that moment, Jana distracted me. Give me a chair. Jana, what is that? I don't know. What's this? A snake's skin. Oh my god. Do you have a napkin? A snake's skin. I can't believe it. Who could leave it here? I don't know. I, I swear. I don't know. Is it some kind of jinx? I'm it's an attribute for a ritual. Has anybody held a ritual here? It was done by someone with magic abilities. It's a man. He's young. About your age. He was somehow connected to this house. Alexei. People always said he looked like a shaman. People said he practiced black magic. He went somewhere. We bought the house from his father. Could he conduct a black ritual with the snakeskin before he left? The ritual isn't black, no. It's like he was trying to use it to protect the house. But I see the wreaths are connected with this young man. I see that two sisters asked him to help them. They asked him to save them from grave danger. He did everything he could, but it wasn't enough. Eventually, death returned to their home. And then the women thought he'd fooled them. These women brought wreaths from the graves of their deceased relatives. They did it as revenge on him. But the sisters didn't know if he didn't live here anymore. It was a load off my shoulders to learn they weren't brought here for me and my family. The cards said there was no spirit bound to the wreaths. Then what kind of force has been haunting the house? And where has it come from and why won't it leave the family alone? I was shocked. How had the gate been opened? You have to apply strength to open it. Mom, my mother's spirit is here. She's with the girl who has the scar on her neck again. The moment the gate opened, there was a shadow behind it. My mom says that the girl can't get out herself. Who is that girl? Are you sure you don't know her? My mom points at Yola. She says you know the child. The girl is nine or ten. It, she has brown hair and dark eyes, and she's slim. And on her neck, there's a scar-like from a knife. I swear, 
I don't know who that girl is. I sincerely don't know. It's strange. Both my mom's and the girl's spirits vanished. All right. So, the force from the netherworld that's been haunting you has something to do with a murder caused by jealousy. Is anybody there? Did the sound come from here? Yes, it did. I still don't understand that what could have fallen there. It was like somebody from beyond wanted to draw our attention to them. Then I suddenly saw a shadow. I followed it, and what I saw there was horrific. I saw somebody's body in the field. Rubina, what is that? I see a dead girl in the hole. She's very beautiful. She's 17, and oh my god, she was buried alive. Hola, I see you bent over her. What did you do to her? We unearthed her. What do you mean? My husband decided to plant grapevines, so he hired a young man named Barice. He was supposed to make holes to plant the vines. I was in the house while they were working outside. Then my husband comes in and says, Here, take a look. And there's a skull in his hand. But there's not only the skull, but the whole skeleton. Yes, we found a woman's body. She had a necklace on her neck. The mirror showed me this woman before the investigation. She had her legs tied and was holding her hands like this, in terror. This is precisely how she was lying. Her legs were tied with a wire up to her knee. I saw her lying in a crystal casket. She was under a layer of shattered glass. I immediately called the police and told them everything. When our local policeman arrived, he simply looked at it and said it was ancient, and we had to call a priest. It's hard to even think of it. So he told you to do whatever you wished to the body? I'm shocked. What did you do with the bones? We called a priest and buried her. Could this woman be the spirit haunting your family? I've had a case in my practice where a woman found a man's skeleton in her backyard. It turned out to be the former owner of the house. They disturbed him, and he began doing everything to make the family leave his property. Jana, th that young woman indeed lived here. The mirror shows her house was over there. There used to be a great homestead here. And the young beauty was from a rich family. A rich, wealthy man lived there. He had two daughters. It looks like before she died, this woman was running away from somebody. Somebody wanted to kill her because of love and a baby she was supposed to give birth to. She was pregnant when she was killed. Where did you bury her? Where the priest showed us. In the woods. Over there. Why not at a cemetery? The priest forbade. He said it was possible she'd committed suicide. Suicide with the legs tied. Buried alive under shattered glass, and how could she bury herself? Who could kill a young pregnant woman? Someone she didn't love. She was supposed to marry another man. The one her parents had chosen, you see. But she fell in love with another man. And she got pregnant. That man was poor. Here's the card of poverty. and It was forbidden love. Yes, yes. My grandma told me her parents didn't want it. And soon she disappeared. Yes. But grandma didn't know where she could have gone. The father killed his own daughter. But I don't think it's her who's bothering you. She's grateful because you helped her find peace. Yes, the priest gave a funeral service. You did the best you could for her. She's deeply grateful. In my vision, I saw you take off her necklace. She had a bead necklace of a tenderly blue, turquoise color. We collected all the beads and put them all in. In the grave? Yes, yes. 
Do you hear the steps? Look. This girl, she's here. Is it the spirit from the grave? Yes. She's calling it. Does she want to help? Let's go. The woman has stopped at a house. She said the ghost that's haunting Olha came from here. Then she vanished. Whose house is this? It doesn't look to be habitable. Oh my god. I see some really terrible things in the mirror. It's showing me a young woman of about 20. She lived in this house and she was brutally murdered. She was stabbed with a knife many times. Yes, she was killed. She's not related to you, but you, Ola, treated her like family. Yes. Who is she? Tetiana. Tetiana was the sister of Olha's first husband, whom Olha divorced many years ago. She was friends with his sister. In 2009, Tetiana was brutally murdered. It happened at night in her own house. She suffered over 70 stab wounds. She was 21. Hold on. I feel a double heartbeat. Was she murdered while she was pregnant? Yes. She was in her seventh month. It wasn't just shock, it was a nightmare. Tatiana was murdered after midnight. Her husband was traveling on business. Her mother, who lives nearby, found her body in the morning. She came to bring her pregnant daughter milk. Everything was covered in blood. I screamed. I saw nothing but it. The mirror shows me a good-looking young woman. Fair hair, blue eyes. She looks like an angel. It was she who murdered Titiana. She's in prison. She's fair-haired and blue-eyed. Inna used to live in the same village with a little daughter and a husband. The woman looked very youthful and sweet. Nobody could believe she could do something like that. The cards tell me she did it out of jealousy. Rumors said Inna was jealous of her husband's interest in Tetiana. But I don't feel there was something between Tetiana and Inna's husband. But something connected them, though it wasn't an affair. A job. Before Tetiana got pregnant, she'd worked in an engineering brigade, where Inna's husband also worked. The cards told me Inna was aggressive and cruel, and her childhood was to blame. She didn't have the love and care of her parents, so she feared she would lose the only person she loved, her husband. I felt the presence of somebody who loved Tetiana a lot and blamed themselves for her death. Over there. Come over here, please. I'm her sister, Anastasia. Why do you feel guilty? Because I didn't stay with her. Anastasia helped her sister and often stayed to spend a night with her. She thinks that if she'd been around that night, Tetiana could be still alive. How old were you when it happened? I was 17. Do you really believe you could have defended her? Do you realize you'd die together with her? Don't blame yourself, never. To find out if it's Tetjane's spirit haunting Olha, I decided to tune to her through her sister. It's not Tatiana. Tatiana doesn't haunt Olha. My mom returned again. This guard girl is with her. The girl says, My name is Maya. Maya. This is her spirit that's haunting you, Ola. Maya. It seems the victim's sister, unlike Olha, knows who it might be. She wanted to name her daughter Maya. Maya. It turns out Tetiana was pregnant with a girl and had already chosen this beautiful name for her. The girl looks like she's nine or in years old. Wait, how long ago was this murder? At ten, right? Yes, ten years ago. Why does she keep coming? God, it's so terrible. The, the belly is cut, the belly is cut. She stabs the baby, like, oh my God. This is horrible. Oh God. This is why I see the scar on the spirit's neck. It 
she was murdered before she even had a chance to be born. Do you see it? Her first breath became the last one. It was a huge shock for the baby. The souls of people who experienced great shock at the moment of death may stay in our world. This is exactly what happened to this girl. She's walking around looking for her mom. It was she who's been haunting your house. I felt it. A swallow flew into the house several times. It was a child's innocent soul. The spirit of the murdered girl has come to Ulhe. She was giving the signs, so her presence would be felt. Yes, I occasionally heard the word, Mom. Like someone was calling, she's simply looking for her mother. The child doesn't know her mother is in the other world. Unfortunately, this dead girl is the source of the danger, though she's doing it unwillingly. She brings dead energy with her. Help me, please. I fear for my children, not for myself. We must help the child find her mother. Мама, я в Камадарик. У Могина Манга. The girl's spirit is here. Tell her she must go. She'll hear you and she'll listen to you. Maya, please stay with your mother. And let me go, please. Give me peace. Baby, I'm not your mother. I saw little Maya and my mother vanish. They both left, the girl and my mother. Maya is going to be all right. She'll be with her mom and they're happy to be together. I'm so grateful to you, I swear. We all feel a great relief. Thank you so much. A horrific crime committed by a jealous woman ruined so many lives, and its consequences as a mysterious black hole began ruining the lives of absolutely innocent people. If the story impressed you, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss new episodes of The Psychic's Investigations.